to you with my TBR for the Booktubeathon 2016. I'm very excited for the Booktubeathon, if you can tell. I'm actually filming this the day after the biannual Bibliothon has just finished, and I'm so excited to be taking part in another readathon so soon because I love readathons. I always get so much reading done. To be fair, I only read four books during the biannual Bibliothon, but that's still four books in a week. So I'm very excited for another readathon. So there are seven challenges for this readathon, as I'm sure you guys all know. If not, I'll link the video down below so you can go and check out the reading challenges to hear the books that I'm planning on reading to try and complete those challenges. This is subject to change because this is about a week before the start of the Booktubeathon. So the first challenge is to read a book with yellow on the cover. Now I have a surprising amount of books that have yellow on them, but I've chosen two books which will also complete a later challenge and this is a choice. It'll really depend how I'm feeling during the week. The two choices I have are The Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick or The Death and Life of Charlie St. Cloud by Ben Sherwood. As you can see, this book has yellow on it and so does this. The next challenge is to read a book only after sunset. And for this one I've decided to try and read The Last Star by Rick Yancey. I've heard that this book is going to destroy me, but also the first two books in this series, I normally read them at nighttime, so I just feel like I should continue on with that theme of reading them at nighttime. Also, these books always go by so quickly, so it will like keep me up all night reading, which is not something that I necessarily need in my life, but it's kind of a fun thing to do, stay up all night reading a book, I don't know. So that's why I'm putting this on my TBR. Also, I put this on my TBR for June and didn't manage to complete it before I even started, so I need to read this sometime this month so that I can stay on track with my TBR. The next challenge is to read a book that you discovered on BookTube. So, before BookTube, I had never heard of this series and now I'm about to read the fourth book and that is in the Lux series and that fourth book is Origin by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So yes, hopefully I'll be getting to Origin. The next challenge is to read a book by your favorite author. So I've chosen to read Summer Days and Summer Nights by a whole variety of authors. Overall it's edited by Stephanie Perkins who I adore but it's also got stories from Libba Bray and I've recently read the two books from the Diviners that are out. Loved both of them. Cassandra Clare who I adore and Leigh Bardugo and I really like the Christian trilogy. I've only read the first book. I know I'm the worst, but I will continue on the series at some point. The fifth challenge is to read a book that is older than you, and for this one I'm going for a tiny book, and that is The Hunting of the Snark by Lewis Carroll. This book is absolutely tiny, it is minuscule, but it was published in 1948, I believe, or at least this copy was. Obviously Lewis Carroll wrote Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, which is a fantastic story. The sixth challenge is to read a book and then watch the book to movie adaptation of that book. And two of the books that I already put on my TBR, which were The Death and Life of Charlie St. Cloud and the Silver Lines playbook have also been turned into movies. So if I end up reading one of these, I might just watch the movie and get that to complete the challenge and then choose another book. But if I am being ambitious, I might read Me Before You by Jojo Moyes and then go and see this movie. But I don't know because I feel like it's going to rip my heart out. And if I manage to complete all of the books that I put on my TBR, including the two different choices I have, that will be seven books, which is the last challenge, which is to read seven books. If not, I will be choosing some random book and I will let you know later on. So yes, that is my very tentative TBR for the readathon. Everything could change, you never know. But this is what I'm planning on reading. So that's going to be all for today's video. If you're taking part in the book readathon, please let me know down below. Please put your TBR down below. I'd love to go and watch it and see what you guys are reading. Anyway, that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe down below. And I'll see you all very soon with another video. Bye!